Hello and welcome back. So in this series of videos we've been taking a look at the different applications for our HDI 3D scanners and the software that we're going to be taking a look at in this video is a software called SpaceClaim. Uh, SpaceClaim is a great tool that we use quite often for reverse engineering uh, of 3D scan parts into physical CAD models. So as we discussed in a previous video, uh, when we scan this part, we're dealing with an, a polygonal mesh or an STL mesh when we scan parts, which means that we're dealing with a file that is uh, hundreds of thousands or millions of different triangles. This is very similar to if you can relate a 3D scanner to a 3D or to a camera, if it, as it being a 3D camera, if we look at a regular camera, we take a picture and we have a bunch of pixels. These triangles are very similar to that. So we need a way to quickly and easily transfer all of this data from a series of pixels into usable CAD data, so to speak. And SpaceClaim is a phenomenal tool for allowing this to happen. So the the very first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to create some reference geometry. So of course, because we're working in a CAD software, which SpaceClaim is a CAD software, we need to have a construction plane or a reference plane to begin working off of. So we can simply come in, identify the top surface of this model, and now we have a reference plane. From here, we can go into a 2D tool that allows us to physically look at our model and this is where SpaceClaim really comes into its own is we can start pushing and pulling through our part to find exactly the points in which we want to come in and understand and we can also build this entire model off of just a few basic forms of geometry so to reverse engineer this part all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple arc and then this rectangle here and that's all we're going to need. Uh, so that may sound a little strange at first but it'll make sense here in just a moment. So before we jump over let's explain what we were doing just a second ago real quick. We're able to attach ourselves to this geometry and start working in CAD because when we create a cross-section through our model, SpaceClaim automatically identifies what the types of features that it thinks it sees in our scan model on our part. So for instance, on these straight areas we have lines and on the curves we have arcs. So we were able to quickly create this ge geometry based upon that. Uh, now from here we're going to very simply delete off a few, you know, delete off one edge of that piece there and we'll just trim everything together real quick. So we have this trimmed model. Now we have this pull tool. This pull tool is really the bread and butter of space claim because it allows us to quickly start modifying and manipulating our object however we see fit. So you can see we can start pushing and pulling this object to where we think we need it to be. But not only can we do that, but we can grab our physical CAD file, or our scan data rather, and we can tell SpaceClaim to pull up to various components. So we can either use precision of pulling up to that surface, or we can freehand push and pull this or actually physically grab and dimension, so pull to specific dimensions as well. So for this file, we're just going to finish pulling up to these two different surfaces. Then on the back, we can do the same thing. We can pull that up to a specific point. And the sides, we can do the exact same process. So now we have our entire model pulled out exactly where we want to have it. And then it comes time for these fillets. So with the fillets, 
we can either do the same process where we're pulling up to or we can add precision by telling it that those are half inch rounds and we're going to pull that up to that half inch radius. So very quick, very easy to use. Uh, we also have some additional geometry in this part uh, that we can quickly come in and model if we want to. Uh, we we'll, won't spend a whole lot of time on it, but let's just create, say, a couple of these uh, cylinders here. We can quickly build them out. And then once that's been done, we can again hide that file off and then we can grab those and either physically move them so we can move them up to a different location and we can grab our solid model and also use them to pull a cut down into our file so once that's been done now we can go back to our design mesh and using that same process pull them up to the specific points that they need to be. So this handles our prismatic data very well uh, but we can also build out organic data if you notice on the back side of this part we have this organic CAD shape here. So there's a lot of different ways that we can come out and reverse engineer this or build it to the exact specifications that we want. Uh, what I find to be the easiest is we'll simply create a plane on one side, move that plane in, and then we can copy that plane into a couple different locations and begin to build a lofted surface. So one thing about space claim is it is a direct modeler and what that means is we're not working with a design tree we're very quickly coming in and identifying areas that we want to start making changes on our CAD we're creating those and making those changes and then we're moving on to the next step in the process so this allows us to model very quickly and very easily. So we'll just finish these two splines off and then from there we'll go ahead and move on to transferring this to our CAD. Okay, so we have our basic shape. Uh, we can go ahead and use that to turn this into a lofted surface. So we'll grab these three files and create a lofted surface. So now we have that surface and we have our CAD body. Let's hide off some of these planes just to clean it up a little bit. But one thing you'll notice is <clears throat> if you're familiar with CAD, this doesn't work. We have a surface that's not completely protruding through our CAD file. So we can't do a Boolean operation. Uh, this is just not a process that would normally work in a CAD modeler. But this is not your average CAD modeler. We're dealing with space claim. So in space claim, all we have to do is press that replace button and then tell it what service we want to replace with and the software automatically comes in and does that for us. So if we hide off that surface again, we can see we've created a nice organic face. We have all our prismatic data and we have the beginnings of this CAD file. So. This is just a really highlight, a, a good overview of space claim. There are 
a multitude of different tools that we can use inside of the software, including deviation analysis tools that are great for the reverse engineering process. So if you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. And we thank you very much for taking a look at this video. And thank you.